Good afternoon, ladies and gents. We are a team from MTU Harlem Campus, and today we're bringing here the presentation named ACB The Prudence. And this is a story about Asia Commercial Bank. But first, let me give you some brief about ACB. ACB is, is the eighth largest bank in Vietnam in terms of total assets, with more than 300 trillion BNP. It has 357 branches across the country and 25 years of experience as a retail bank. Back to the main story. It all starts with an idea of a brilliant man, a legendary investor that I believe that everybody knows. Warren Buffett, he said, if a bank doesn't do dumb things on our society, it will make good money. By that, he meant to emphasize the importance and prudence in managing the asset side. However, we believe that, not limited to that, prudence must be practiced in every aspect of a bank. Banking is the industry that is blessed with the ability to borrow short, lend long, with high leverage. 16 in the case of Vietnam banking, according to our estimation. So let's just imagine if there is a 0.5 loss in our way that will lead to 8% loss in our way. Risky. That is a double sword. That is the reason why prudence is required everywhere. So now the question is, does ACG really have that prudence in all aspects of its business? We strongly believe it does. And that is the reason why we issue a buy recommendation offering an amazing upside of 27% to reach the price of nearly 36,000 BNT within a year. And that is supported by three main drivers. Firstly, internal brilliance. Secondly, promising environment for banking. And lastly, robust future performance. Let me walk you through the outline for the one last time before we really start. We're going to cover three main parts. Investment thesis, valuation, risk. Let's get started with the first one. ACB is well established as a retail bank, demonstrated by a large proportion of individual customer, as you can see on the slide, both in loan and deposit. Next look at the lending structure. You can see that the focus segment of ACB is individual and SME customers, accounting for nearly 90%. It's also worth mentioning that ACB is the first to issue MasterCard, Visa card, and adopt TC Vegas. ACB position we expect to be even stronger in the future with the ambitious plan of future banking. But to aim high, we must start and do well with the basic. For the past few years, ACB has done an excellent job regarding asset management and high lending standards, which will be brought to you by Will. ACB can really proud of being high lending standard a combination of a quantitative and quantitative credit rating system since 2006, a focus of secure retail lending, with the highest contribution of real estate in collateral assets in the industry, ranging from 70 to 80 percent. If ACB also utilizes an independent and international credit rating, uh, international uh, real estate appraisal (CBRE) to ensure its valuation for real estate collateral. Talking about ACB, the story of asset management could never be created. We know that in 2012, ACB committed a significant percentage of asset for both speculation, as you can see on the slide. Now, this area is under control, with only 4% of its asset devoted to other activities. After 2012, by positioning its asset, uh, by positioning itself as a leading retail bank, ACB can strengthen its asset quality, shown by the much lower than average in terms of overview loan and the highest score regions in terms of net loan. In terms of liquidity, ACB outlevels at the 80% with a significant percentage of liquidity storage in form of government bond. Ray Dalio once said that, hey, last reflection, it will progress. 2012, we cannot deny it's a painful period for ACB. However, it brought the bank a great lesson, and the lesson is wooden exercise is a golden key to unlock a sustainable performance in the future. And everything I just say, as we now have that research team that has been to raise enough of the past and make a comeback with a really leading video bank in Vietnam with strong profitability in the future. However, it will be incomplete if we totally forget about the external factors that are and will be in favor of banking. And that will be brought to you by me. So the banking industry is still has much way to develop. Since 2012, Vietnam economy has grown rapidly. Bank average GDP of 6.2% annually, putting Vietnam among the fastest growing economies in Asia. The General Statistics Office expects this number will grow stably among 6.5 to 6.8% during the period of 2018 to 2020. Regarding the demographic, the unbanked population in Vietnam was still huge. 65% by 2016, 
which is very high compared to East Asian peers. In Vietnam, they still enjoy the golden population period, which is expected to last until 2041. And lastly, rising disposable income, the Asian bank growth, estimated number of an experience of CIGR of 25% between 2060 and 2020. In addition, the State Bank of Vietnam is two most outstanding tools lately. Basel II and VAMC has the banking industry to be more stable, transparent and effective. So this favorable condition into play with ACT positioning when it results in outstanding performance. And now we will give you more detail about this. Profit after take of ACV will increase as 7, 16 by 74 percent with three main key drivers is NII, NFI, and abnormal income. The NII is expected to come at 17 percent annually at the same pace of credit growth. The NFI grows at a faster rate, 28 to 30 percent, thanks to the promising macro factors. The abnormal income, particularly in the right back and the bad back in the past, also put PAD up. Our ACB always takes advantage of its cost of equity and stayed high level in the next period, about 18%, since the bank have resold in legacy book. NIF expect to follow the trend of past four years, going up slightly thanks to a strong marketing power. The valuation. To evaluate for ACB one year target price, we use two methods its price to value and residue income model in the web. 30% and 70% respectively. The residual income model, with all assumptions we have said above, and the cost of equity is 14.70%, the terminal growth is 5.2%, and the result is 35,578,000 BND. With the bright book value model, we can see that in the history, ACB bright book value always has a premium to industry average bright book value. And this the reason for this is super real fundamental of ACB, referred to the ROV of ACB in this model. We use industry current bright book value and the premium of ACB, and then the result is 36.974,000 BND. The old saying, high risk, high return, is only reasonable when the investor is fully aware of all the risks, and this part we cover by chart. Our investment risk analysis consists of valuations and company risks. For the valuations risks, we have conducted sensitivity tests considering NPL, LDR, growth rate, and cost of equities. And the result is a list of whole recommendations. Specifically, with growth rate and cost of equity rate, our premium is ranged from 19 to 32 percent. For the company risks, as we issue a buy recommendation, our company risk is also the investment risk for the investor. However, thanks to prudent strategies and executions, all the five risk groups seem to be well managed. Therefore, we just focus on the most to concern. Firstly, with the bank, interest rate is important and it seems to be stable over the last few years and a more conservative monetary policy it tends to increase in the near future. As we have estimated, ACB net duration gap is positive in 2016 and 17. Therefore, an increasing trend in interest rate is not a good signal. However, the impact is not large, since 1% increase in interest rate will reduce the equity by only 0.23%. Secondly, about business rates, the market is hated with the entrance of Korean banks and fintech companies. However, being an experienced players in the market with strong customer base, ACB shouldn't worry about these new entrants. They are threat, but there are also the opportunities with ACB. So we would like to conclude with the other quotes from Mr. Warren Buffett. Banking, you just can't stay away from following fast and making battles, has been a remarkably good business. ACB is a bank just like this. Not following the facts, not making that much battles, strong profitability, top top asset quality, <clears throat> and all that thanks to prudence. <clears throat> so that's why we once again must issue a buy recommendation when it comes to ACB. Uh, we strongly believe that ACB is a really good bank fundamentally and an excellent investor that deserves so much more attention, recognition, and consideration from all investors. We are at 200 team and thank you for listening.